Hi, Julian Mills here. In this short video, I would like to show you how I use my Honeypot for Spambots campaign in Infusionsoft. So first of all, I'll outline why you may possibly need a campaign like this. Uh, and there's two real reasons. The, the first one is, if we take a look at Infusionsoft web form, here's one here, uh, and you can have a capture code on the form. So you can build out the form as you would do normally, and then you can have, you can drag in from the field snippets a capture form, this one here, drag that in there, and obviously every time someone comes to your form, they see a, a code here, and they've got to enter it before, before they can submit it. The problem with this is it's quite an ugly thing and it's adding another sort of gateway in there before people can, or another hurdle before people can actually submit their contact details. Another reason might be, you know, you've got this form built onto your, your home page where space is at a premium. Um, you don't want to fill it with a big clunky thing, like a big ugly thing that doesn't match your brand here. So people don't really like to use this. I certainly don't like to use this. Uh, but when you don't use that, you run the risk of these sort of spam robots sort of latching onto your form and filling in with sort of malicious, rubbish contact records. And when I first started with Fusions, I had an issue once where, before I realised I had a problem, I had like thousands of thousands of these automatically submitted rubbish contact records. And when you've got thousands and you've got to sift through your data manually, it's a real pain in the butt. So if you can sort of nip the problem in the bud at source, it's much better. So this is what this campaign so this is what this campaign for the honeypot for spam bots is all about. It's to stop the spam bots filling our database with rubbish. And it also enables us not to have to use something as ugly and clunky as this in the campaign. So that's one reason. A second reason is uh that you you may want to use a system um, whereby you can have pop-ups so things like pop-up alley which is really good this is what this is so pop-up alley is a simple WordPress plugin you customize it you embed your Infusionsoft HTML code for the form in pop-up alley and it will pop up on your website a box like this uh, and all it will capture is first name and an email address so again, I've had it where these robots will latch onto this and start su just submitting this and filling the database with rubbish. Uh, and on Popper Pally and possibly other systems as well, there is there's not even an option to have a uh, capture code box here. So how do we stop a robot from filling this in and creating us thousands of rubbish contacts, filling up our database, and then obviously the view stuff will charge us more to have an upgrade for more context. So why do why we should try and avoid that where possible. So that's the second reason. Uh, this is a pop-up alley form and I want to make sure that no robot can get through there filling in rubbish data. So how do I do that? Get rid of that now. So I've got this campaign here which I, I can give you for free, no problem, just request it. Uh, and what this is doing, so this is the lead capture form here. Uh, and this is a form that could uh, either be used straight on your website or it could be integrated into something like pop up alley or, or lead pages so here's here's the form we create that simply as most people do all you could capture on this form is first name and email address put that there you'll see here we've got a thank you page uh, and this is a link to our second form we'll see in one minute. That is the hosted version of the second form we'll see in a minute. So as soon as they fill this first form in, they're going to go to our second form. And it's very important to tick this little box here, pass contacts information to thank you page. What we need to be doing here is firing across to the second form the email address so that we can, it will, infuse stuff will match on the email address and we'll only have one contact. So that's the first form. So as soon as someone fills in this form, spam bots and real people will go straight to this sequence where we're going to apply a tag to say they are a honeypot for spam bots campaign. They're a possible spam contact record. So everyone, everyone at this point is a possible is a possible spam contact record. 
So here we come to the second form, which is effectively our thank you page for this form. And here this is configured to ask a simple question. Now I've got it set up to ask what is 3 plus 7. And obviously real people will fill in 10. A spam bot will just give up at this point anyway. So you're able to filter off real people. And if you leave a look, if you could tweet this little message, but you know, make it, I make it a little bit humorous. And I find that everyone fills this in. And by doing that, the, f the real people are filtering themselves off. So as soon as a real person fills in this question, 3 plus 7 is 10, uh, through this decision diamond node here, they will go into the qualified contacts. And all I do there is remove remove the tag to say they're a possible spam, a possible spam contact. You'll notice I have this sequence here and there's nothing in it whatsoever. It's just blank. The reason for that being there is that I need to drag out this second secret in order to create a decision diamond so that I can so we, the system, so somebody has to fill in an answer before they can go into that sequence. Okay, so at the end of the day when when it either if someone's coming in as a real person, they'll fill in this and they'll have had this possible spam contact removed. If a if a spam bot has got to here and not not go any further, then they they will just those contacts will just be left with a, a tag associated with them saying they're, they're a possible spam contact. So what we can do then, obviously on a regular basis, maybe once a month, you might want to go in, just do a visual scan of those records that have got that tag on them, uh, and spot the spam ones. Um, they're very easy to spot generally, because they'll, they'll have that first name will not match the first name of the email address. Uh, the email address tends to be things like Outlook, Hotmail and Gmail. And if you look at the contact, if you're in any doubt, if you look at the contact, uh, you'll see that any emails you have sent them in the meantime, none of them will have been opened so they generally are very easy to spot those ones uh, and then also what you might want to do is create a saved search on that tag the possible spam contact tag create a saved search then you can create a quick report or a custom report on your dashboard on your Infusionsoft dashboard and I've got one here to my dashboard so that every time I come into Infusionsoft, I get a quick snapshot view of where I'm up to. And you can see here, I've got my potential spam contacts here. So I can keep a very easy eye on, easily I can keep an eye on these guys. Uh, and make sure that there's no, no, no spam bot has decided to target my site and fill in my forms with rubbish. So this is my campaign to uh, for a honeypot to catch out the spam bots uh, and to be able to enable you not to have to create uh, have an ugly capture form on your home page or something or to be able to use third party apps like this the pop-up alley whereby they can be attacked by these these robots uh, and fill in all these malicious contacts so it's a way of filtering those out and keeping your database clean I hope you found this video useful and if you haven't if you want this campaign or you haven't already asked for it uh, drop me a line and uh, I'm happy to install it free of charge Thank you for listening.